In the beginning, there was absolutely nothing. There was no light, only darkness, which wasn't a big deal because there was nothing to look at, nothing to touch, nothing to hear, nothing to taste, and nothing to smell. There was only God. Then God said, let there be light, and there was light. God spoke into being the whole world with all of its high mountains and deep oceans and all the plants and animals, just by saying it. God created the sun to light the day and the moon to light the night. When he was done, God said that what he had created was good. But God was getting ready for his greatest act yet, the creation of man. He planned to make man special and different from the animals he had already created. God created man in his own image, meaning man would be able to think, understand right and wrong, and have feelings. God took a bit of dirt from the earth, formed a man, and breathed life into him. God called the first man Adam, and he brought Adam to live in a wonderful place called the Garden of Eden. Living in the Garden of Eden, Adam learned about all of the animals. He played with them and gave each kind of animal a name. But something was missing from Adam's life. While it may seem that Adam had it all, a safe and wonderful place to live, millions of pets, fresh food, a clean new earth, and his friend, God, Adam was missing a human friend. Seeing that Adam needed a friend, God put Adam to sleep carefully took a small bone from Adam's body and used it to form a woman. God called the first woman Eve. Adam and Eve were made for each other, to love each other, keep each other company, enjoy this beautiful world, and worship God. Life in the garden was perfect. Adam and Eve had no worries because God took care of them. The animals were peaceful and kind. On the sixth day of creation, God looked at everything he had made and said it was good. On the seventh day of creation, God rested from all his work. Everything in God's creation was perfect and beautiful. <laughs>